Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brad here for Brad's Gadgets and I'm going to show you how to make mashed potatoes using a few simple ingredients in a sous vide circulator. It's super easy. First thing you're going to want to do is get your potatoes. Today I'm going to use red potatoes and we're going to use six of them. Six potatoes should feed a family of four for you know, about a week, almost. Okay, as a side dish. Now with this recipe, you can obviously add or remove things so it's to your individual taste. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. First, we're gonna need six potatoes. Need some butter, Philadelphia cream cheese, some milk, and you can add garlic powder or dill or if anything else you want to flavor it just how you like. So you can take your potato and you can either peel it and slice it, or as I prefer, I just use one of these where it just dices it into little cubes and I leave the skin on. That makes it uh, for a nicer mashed potato in my opinion. Whatever you like is however you're gonna do it. So in order to use a sous vide circulator, which means you're cooking in water, you're going to need either a vacuum seal bag or you can use just a regular old Ziploc bag, but we're going to have to submerge this into the water and try to get all the air out. Whereas this, if you have a vacuum sealer, it's going to be a lot easier for you. So one of the first things we want to do is we want to take your bag and we're going to flip the edges over so we don't get any guck inside. That'll make for a nice seal when we go to the sealer and none of our food will be in the way to prevent a nice seal. If you're using a Ziploc bag, uh, doesn't really matter too much, okay? So here we have our ingredients, our butter, our potatoes, our milk, our cream cheese. And you're gonna wanna cut off some of that yuck on the potatoes. Just use a paring knife and just notch those out so you're not putting those into your potatoes. Go take your potato, drop it in like so, set it down, squish it out. And it come out nice and diced, just like that. The other method you can use is just slicing your potatoes. You're gonna want them pencil thin or maybe even a little thinner. Just makes for a nicer cook. It, it cooks a little easier that way. And really, really watch with the nut sharp knife. You'll see me grabbing the other ends of the potato here and holding what I'm cutting. So I'm still keeping that blade away from my fingers. If one's too thick, we can just go back and slice that one by holding the other pieces of potato. Sometimes there's a little imperfections in the potatoes. You're gonna to wanna to get rid of those. So just slice them out, throw that piece out. The rest of the potato is fine. Here we are cut into little pieces. Doesn't matter if they're cubes, doesn't matter if they're slices, because we're gonna mash them all up anyways. Now we just put everything into the bag. Scoop them in. Now we're gonna take our butter and we'll use a half a stick of butter and I'll just use a knife to cut it in half and peel it and throw it right in the bag. I like to cut them in half just to make it fit better. Now we're going to use our cream cheese and I use about an eighth of a brick. You can put in more if you'd like it a little bit creamier tasting, but I find that for six potatoes, this is a perfect amount.
right in the bag it goes. Now we're going to get our milk and I'm going to pour one cup of milk for six potatoes. If you're making less, you're going to want to use a little less milk. And obviously if you're making say eight potatoes, you're going to want to do about a, a cup and a quarter. Now I'll add a little bit of dill, some chopped chives, and some Parmesan and herbs. You can also add garlic powder if you want garlic mashed potatoes, but I would only use one teaspoon. Any more than that, and it's a little too garlicky. Now we're gonna get ready to seal this bag up. Bring out the vacuum sealer. Now we try to align the edge as best we can with the sealer. We snap it down tight and I'm going to use the pulse function. This allows me to control the amount of vacuum that goes into this bag. You'll also see me hanging this over the counter and that's to keep the milk down so the milk doesn't get sucked into the vacuum or into where we're going to seal. Now that she's pretty much ready, I just hit the seal button. I like to hit the seal button twice. That way I ensure a beautiful seal. You don't want this to leak at all. Then just flatten it down as best you can and that just makes for an easier cook. If you don't have the strength to do this, it's not that crucial of a step. Next we're gonna fill our sous vide container with hot water. The reason that we're using hot water is so that the sous vide circulator doesn't have to work as hard to get up to temperature. As you can see, the temperature is already rising. So you're going to set your sous vide to 85 degrees. And your time will be for two hours. hit the go button. Now it's time to put the potatoes into the water bath. Now you see me putting these little racks in here and that's just to weight it down because eventually during your cook it's going to want to float up a little bit because we didn't get all the air out. There's a lot of air still left in there so what I'll do is I'll weigh it down and uh, that way it won't uh, float up to the top and it will cook all the way around. The sous vide is going to circulate the hot water all around that bag so all sides will get cooked evenly. You can already see the butter melting. So now that two hours have passed we're going to take the lid off and be very careful because you can see the steam coming off of this. That water is very hot. I'm going to use tongs to take these racks out so I don't burn my fingers. That's how hot this water actually is at 85 degrees. Now for my gloves. I don't want to burn my hands so I just put on these nice barbecue gloves or oven mitts, whatever you got. And our potatoes are almost done. You can just start squishing them up in your hands. That's how easy this is. And that's how soft those potatoes are. We're mixing it all together in the bag itself. And if there's any that are a little bit hard still, just 
mush it all down. If you like it lumpy, don't do this as much. And if you like it a little smoother, yeah, just keep going with it. Now, just like icing, we're gonna cut one of the corners off. And put our potatoes in the bowl. Just squeeze it right out. Look how soft that is. It's just the right amount of milk so it's not runny. That to me is the perfect texture for these mashed potatoes. Let's see how they taste. Absolutely perfect. Now you can put them in the fridge or put them right out on the table. So hopefully now you know how to make potatoes. It's super simple, very easy. You don't have to do any of that hard mashing. And uh, in my opinion, it tastes fantastic. My family loves them. And one of the better things too is that you can always adjust the recipes to your taste, right? Not not necessarily the exact same way that I do it, but hopefully you learned something out of this video and maybe you learned something new to try in your kitchen. Anyways, if you have any questions or potato comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you look down in the, uh, yeah. So hopefully you learned how to make mashed potatoes without having to do all that arm work. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Jeez. So now you know how CV works. It's actually pretty simple. It's a very easy way to cook. So you can see now, but uh, by, yeah. um. and as always, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.